Welcome to University of Maryland Extension, Farmer Resources for COVID-19 Response. Hi, I'm Shannon Dill, and I'm gonna to talk today about creating a continuity of business plan for the farm. What is business continuity? Well, it refers to the maintaining business functions or quickly resuming them in the event of a major disruption. It will assist you with the loss of income, protecting employees, and being able to care for the farm, the crops and the animals. Major sections are gonna address prevention strategies, what are actions to prevent before the disaster occurs, the response strategy, detailed response for potential disasters for different parts of the business, and then the recovery strategy. So that's after the event, how to get the business back on track. This plan involves four general steps. The first is to identify the scope of the plan. What is it gonna cover? What are the goals? The second is the risk and prevention strategies. The third is the response strategy and the continuity of the plan. And the fourth is to share, implement, train, test, and to review. So identifying the scope of the plan, this is really the summary of the plan and how the goals, um, and what are the goals of the document? What, is the, what are the goals of the plan? This could be from you know, a production standpoint, employee standpoint, financial or technology. And all areas and activities of the farm should be considered from daily tasks to regular maintenance to something like backing up your computer so any of the farm records are secured for, uh, for use. So risk and prevention strategies, what are ways that farms mitigate risk? And this includes things like biosecurity activities, maybe it's keeping a log of who comes on and off the farm, maybe it's certain process and procedures that are in place. It's security or fire protection, so some people have alarm systems or uh, ways that they can um, be sure that their, their farm and equipment are more secure. Could be secondary suppliers and less dependency on a single point of contact. Maybe it's technology, so you're backing up computers and the communication piece. Uh, also looking at the employees, you know, is there, a, are employees able to do multiple tasks and being able to split critical functions so more than one person can fulfill a, a certain task. Consider farm compliance and the regulatory requirements. So what are essential employees? Um, are, do they have the ability and the resources during a disruption? Uh, think about employing contractor policies that you have in place. And um, think about safety like uh, riding in farm vehicles together or uh, trucks or um, the multiple use of multiple people using one piece of equipment or materials. Uh, look at travel with government mandated travel restrictions and what is a protocol for the safe evacuation or quarantine of employees who are traveling. So the third piece is the response strategy and continuity plan. And this is definitely the largest section. It includes the process and plan for disasters and those major disruptions. It consider breaking it down by maybe roles um, or different uh, managers on the farm or different farm enterprises. So think about uh, the big grouping of, of how you would break that down. A checklist that includes supplies and equipment is really helpful. Uh, the location of data and backups and backup sites and contact information for emergency responders maybe key personnel and backup site providers. So if you're working with say technology companies or data companies, that type of thing. An inventory of essential farm activities is important. Um, it helps to ensure the safety and health of your crops and animals, so your, your business itself. And this could include the necessary operations for the farm, such as scouting or feeding or uh, the health or, or irrigation of your crops. So some farm specific things, and this is just a really big list. We have a document that you can refer to as well, a fact sheet. Um, <clears throat> for the general farm itself, the different fields and acres under control of the farm, uh, key markets for the farm products, maybe some next of kin or a trusted person to be in charge. Here's a list for crop-based um, farms. So uh, your crop rotation by field, is it something with nutrient management, IPM programs, where is the pesticide records? Where are they stored? Key workers for seasonal work. Um, maybe it's a plan for leased or custom help to the farm and, and knowing what's gonna happen with that. The animal base would be looking at grazing rotations, you know, feeding schedules. If there's things with the animal health, barn layouts, 
uh, all of those type of things to be able to keep your animals healthy and safe and cared for during some type of uh, farm disruption. The last part of the response strategy is looking at a list of internal and external stakeholders and you know what is their contact information how to communicate with them you know is it through email is it through social media phone calls and this would be with employees customers consumers and maybe even the media uh, review supplier service level agreements contracts or other legal expectations so if you have written contracts and what you're supposed to be fulfilling what do those say and what are the repercussions if you're not able to fulfill those contracts and then the last part is getting back to normal. Are there certain activities that are gonna to need to take place to get the business back on track following a disruption in business? So the last part of this is really, once you have the plan together, is trying, is making sure that, that you've shared it, that you're implementing it, that you're training, and then you test and review. So it will be important to communicate the business decisions to partners, employees, and maybe other appropriate audiences. Consider training needed and responsibilities during this disruption. Test the business continuity plan. Uh, this could be done through getting feedback from others, looking at the what ifs. What if uh, there's a shutdown? What if the processor can't pick up my um, birds that are ready to go out? What if uh, the harvester can't get there? What, what are some things that we can do um, to look at contingency plans and, and what are we missing? Be sure to review the plan as the business and the environment and the world changes. And so that's always kind of being able to go back and look at it and um, make those edits when needed.